Welcome to the best of Central Florida. I am Justin Clark and I will never forget the year 2002. I was up in law school in Boston, hanging at the Beantown pub to be exact. A classmate comes over, introduces himself. He said he was from Orlando. I was shocked. I thought Orlando was theme parks, chain restaurants, maybe a water park or two. Who would have thought that now 20 years later, I would have lived here for 15 of them. Who would have thought I would raise my two little girls here? Who would have thought I would fall in love with Central Florida? It is a hidden gem. We have great restaurants, professional sports teams, a booming art scene, the Wakaiva River, the beaches, and yes, even the theme parks. Michaela Nichols will join me as always from Eustis to Eatonville, Chuliota to Christmas. This is the best of Central Florida. What a great show we have lined up for you today. It is the best dental businesses in Central Florida. Welcome in, Michaela Nichols. Now, Michaela, you have beautiful teeth, obviously, right? Thank you, Justin. I mean, you I don't, don't have to go hard. to the dentist, I imagine, with those no, teeth, No, I right? go all the time. I think that's a secret. It's, it's weird, too, because in our dentist, we want someone who we feel is, is our best friend in some ways that, that we want to trust, and we have some great ones lined up today, that's for sure. And also a little bit of an interesting twist. It's not just dentists today. We're talking about people who have to have their teeth replaced. And I love the group we have lined up today. I do too, I'm what excited. Are you, are you excited? I'm Justin, you know what, I'm always excited. I'm thrilled today. The only thing I'm trying to figure out too, and I'm not sure if we're gonna ask them this or not, is why did dentists only work like Monday through Wednesday or Thursday? I, I've always wanted to be a dentist only so I could have Fridays off. I mean, because I can. <laughs> is that what it is? <laughs> I guess, they're doing a great job, whatever they're doing. How often do you go? And, and I don't need you to lie to these people uh, at home. How often do you off, go? To you know, I go for my teeth cleaning and then, you know, sometimes a whitening. You gotta go for a couple things, Justin. So once every four years? What, yeah, once every four years I go. Probably like a couple times a year. A couple times, at least, I think we're supposed to go every six months. That's what it is, I think, right? Well, if that's what I'm supposed to do, then guess what? That's what I do. I'm super fired <laughs> up for this show and I know you're gonna love it as well. Literally the best dentist in Central Florida. And it's all just ahead after this quick break. I don't know about you, but when I first look at someone, I automatically look at their smile. So Michaela's choice today is Highland Lakes Dental. I am joined by Dr. Ishbel Navies. Thank you so much for being on the show today. Thank you for having me. So when I first walk into your office, obviously it's so beautiful, but when someone first walks in for the first time, what picture do you want to paint for them? Um, I want them to, I want everybody to feel like family. Like um, they just went into somebody's, like their family's living room and they're there just to have like a nice time. Um, you know, like going to the dentist is a little bit of a frightening a, situation. Yeah. So we want to make it um, so that people feel as comfortable as possible. I love that you said that because let's be honest, I mean, if someone's like up in your mouth, I mean, it can be a little bit uncomfortable. So how do you really instill that kind of like family atmosphere for them? Well, just the staff um, feels like they're my family. So I think with that, um, we treat each other like family. Um, so I think with that, we start um, building a rapport with the patient and um, having them feel comfortable. Um, before COVID, we used to have coffee in the waiting room and all that. Now um, we'll see what happens if we can make that, uh, a, make a comeback with that. But um, we would always try to make them feel as comfortable as possible. Um, just treating them properly and um, giving them a nice welcome. Definitely. So you mentioned coffee. So coffee, that's one of the main things that like can stain, right? Right. I, God knows I have way too much coffee. <laughs> <laughs> right. Al along with um, Coke products, um, red wine. Hey, uh, 
I'm sorry. <laughs> so how do you combat that? I mean, can I come into your office for like just solely a teeth whitening? Um, you can. Um, we would obviously like to make sure that everything, like all your um, teeth are in good shape, that you don't have cavities and, and um, you know, nothing is happening because with whitening, um, if you have a whole bunch of cavities, then those can get worse. You can have um, a lot of sensitivity um, and toothaches. Um, so we would definitely like to make sure that um, all your teeth are addressed and all your dental concerns are addressed before going into whitening. And something you mentioned earlier, I mean, you're talking about family and you've had different generations. How important is oral hygiene at various stages throughout your life? Oh, it's very important. We have to think about the fact that uh, we were not meant to lose our teeth. So um, we definitely want to keep our teeth for as long as possible um, throughout our lives. I mean, we still have to eat when we're 80. Yeah. So yeah. Um, definitely um, that's very important. So aside from like the typical cleaning, you know, you come in what, once every six months? Um, we, do, uh, we do recommend once every six months as long as the patient is healthy and they're able to take care of their teeth. Um, there are some patients that would come in every three to four months depending on their needs. So if someone comes in, you know, for a teeth cleaning, what else do you offer aside from that and whitening? Okay, we are, are a general uh, dentist practice, so we offer um, restorations, uh, crowns and bridges, um, dentures, partial dentures. Um, that's a, a big portion of our practice, uh, just because of the location. Um, we as well offer implants. Um, we do have a periodontist on staff that addresses uh, periodontal disease, uh, gum disease, um, and uh, basically the supporting structures of the teeth as well. Um, and she basically uh, does our surgeries, our implants, uh, most of our extractions. Um, and then we do uh, restore um, implants, either a single tooth or a denture supported. Um, for, you know, an implant supported denture. For some reason when I think about a dentist, you want to feel mm -hmm. comfortable. You want your dentist to feel like part of the family. And I know you treat your patients that way too, but it's way more than that at Highland Lakes. You guys really are a family, generations of. Right, um, my, the office, like I've had multiple uh, members of my family uh, work at the practice, um, my, my cousins, my husband, my mom have worked at the practice, so um, we really do feel like a family. Um, and then patients as well, uh, when, when they come in, um, we have a full um, schedule, but I always like to give them uh, time, um, everybody. Um, I sometimes sing to them whenever <laughs> go I... Go ahead, fire yeah, away. Yeah, please, I mean, if you want to go for it. Oh my gosh, no. <laughs> Michaela, do you, do you want to sing? Oh, no, no, no. no, no. I'll, I'll, I want expose her to that. No, no, She's no, no. singing during the break, honestly, if you want to talk to No, I'll sing to you at the office. Okay, all right, we'll be there. I'll come. I love that. So another thing you kind of mentioned earlier is just ma maintenance, right? You know, between the teeth cleaning and even just like the maintenance of crowns. How important is that for like typical patient? Um, we, uh, patients have to understand that you can uh, get a cavity under a crown, your crowns can break, um, your, your, you can have infection um, under your crown, so it's very important that you uh, or patients uh, take care of, the, of their uh, new appliances, prosthesis, crowns and bridges. Um, it's a big investment, so you, you know, um, you definitely want to make it uh, last. Um, it, so maintenance at home, home care is very important. Um, flossing, I know a lot of people um, yeah, don't flossing. floss real good um, <laughs> or don't floss at all. That's very important because um, the toothbrush sometimes doesn't get everything. And so rumor has it you're expanding. Um, yes, like we are in the initial talks um, right now. Um, it may or may not happen. Um, we're still looking for a place to possibly open a practice um, just because we want to um, serve uh, more people. Well, makes sense. Well, doctor, thank you so, so much for your hot time. Uh, Highland Lakes Dental, please go check them out and we will be right back with Justin's Choice after this short break.
Finally, it's time for my favorite part of the show. It's Justin's Choice. Her least favorite, I guess, right? No, it's definitely yeah. one of my favorites. The winner this week for Best Dental Implant goes to our very good friends at D5 Teeth. Happy to be joined by Dr. Miranda. Doc, how are you, sir? Thanks for having me. D5 is uh, really changing the game, let's say. It's cutting edge technology that you use to really help people who are having teeth problems replace their teeth and you do it quickly. Tell me about it. Absolutely, it really is cutting edge stuff. Basically, this, this is for people that have terminal dentition that need a full mouth reconstruction. So what we do is we extract the teeth, we place the implants, and in a turnaround time of only one week, we get you your final fixed zirconia permanent teeth with only a one week turnaround one time. Week. One week. Absolutely. Compared to the previous ways we used to do it in other dental implant centers, you wear temporary for many months, anywhere from four, three, four, six months, and these temporaries don't look good, they can break, they are not very aesthetic at all. Um, and then after that, it's multiple visits, multiple uh, appointments to finally do your final. So you, we're taking a six month um, period of time, that, that's what wow. we used to take, and we're conditioning it to one week. And, and you know, I think a lot of people are going through a decision. They say, okay, I know I have a lot of things going on in my teeth, a lot of things bad, and, and maybe they have a dentist who says, well, I think we can maybe fix it up, but it's not a bad idea to have a consultation with you to see if it's easier to just do full-blown dental implants. Let's say I want to come see you. What does a consultation cost? Uh, it's a free consultation. Free consultation. Free so consultation. I can come in. So if I have you know, my, my family dentist telling me one thing, mm -hmm. it's not going to hurt to come in and see Absolutely you. Absolutely not. And because sometimes it, it's just better to almost say bite the proverbial bullet and just fix everything at once as opposed to keep really just every day being at the dentist trying to fix one thing at a time. Absolutely. We have patients usually they're retired, they've been decades at the dentist. Right. It's fillings, it's, it's crowns, everything, you name it, and they've gotten tired, and the teeth still are breaking down, it's still not, not working for them, and they want one final solution that's simple, quick, easy, and simple. And one of the things that I noticed about you guys, which I think is, is fantastic, uh, yes, of, of course, it costs a little bit of money, it's very reasonably priced, believe it or not, but I know a lot of people that have been there and they paid really nothing down and, and they can get on a payment plan. You offer financing. Yes, absolutely. We do offer several financing options. Um, one other thing I want to add, because the visits are so condensed within the week and it's not a drawn out six month project, right. the costs are substantially less lower than other dental implant centers. You know, it's, it's one of those things too where if you start adding up, okay, I'm going to do this crown here, I'm going to do this root canal there. It's actually less expensive than piecemealing your mouth, which, by the way, the teeth are fairly important, I think, to your body. Of course, yeah, absolutely. It's, it sometimes is less less expensive than just doing a full arch over implants and going piece by piece, tooth by tooth, trying to fix things. How do I go through that decision-making process? That I know that I have some things going on here. I know that, that it's not going great for me in my mouth. I'm trying to decide, do I do, I do the implants or not? How does that decision-making process go? And take me through that. So you come into the office, you make an appointment for a free consultation. Uh, during that consultation, I'm going to take a CT scan, and I'll sit with you, mm. and we'll go tooth by tooth by tooth, and we'll look at the, generally your full mouth, and we come up with a decision if we should do the D5 um, protocol or not. There are people that will do just one upper, and then we'll save some teeth on our lower, and then there are people that will do the full mouth uppers and lowers. And that decision we, come, we, we make at the day of the consultation. You know, one of the things that I've noticed, and unfortunately I think you know, Florida has a, a bit of a drug problem at times. I've seen some, some clients of mine at my firm who had a drug problem back in the day, and they've gotten better. But one thing that has not gotten better is their Absolutely, teeth. Unfortunately, yes. it's a big problem here. Do you see that, and how do you take care of it? Yes, uh, unfortunately, I've been seeing a lot of younger patients, mm. unfortunately, um, that had uh, substance abuse problems. And, and unfortunately, we had to take the teeth out. But the D5 pro uh, protocol would give them fixed brand new teeth in one week, really? and their, they, their life is you know, reestablished. Yeah, you're changing yeah, their lives. Changing their lives, exactly. I mean, it, they, they've already recovered from one of the biggest, worst diseases you could have, and yes. yet they still had the scars right, from it, which was their exactly. mouth. And now in one week, you're, you're literally changing their literally, lives. You're removing yep. those scars. What is the recovery process like? So um, it is a one-day surgery uh, process. The following day and the second day, you'll be a little bit swollen, a little bit of discomfort, but we manage that with medications, mm. okay? Uh, you will be on a soft diet for some time, but it's really not that, not that bad at all. This used to be a lot worse. I, I, when I think a lot of ways about a, a hip replacement, if people who get hip replacements now, it's actually not as bad as it used right, to be. exactly. Same thing with what you're doing. Explain the differences in how it used to be versus you at D5 with your cutting edge technology. Exactly, so uh, way back when you took teeth out, you put implants in, you'd wear a removable denture, okay? Uh, just comes in and out, horrible. 
it evolved a little bit over time to give us fixed teeth on the day of the surgery. But that's the older fashioned way we'd wear the temporary for about, for, you know, from three to six months. And those, like I said, those temporaries break, it, they don't look good, they're horrible. Right. Being able to give you the D5 in one week, all those problems are eliminated. And you, in one week, you get beautiful smile. Unbelievable. Yeah. I'm so impressed with what right. you guys are doing over there. Explain the difference because I didn't really know until I got to know you a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Dentures versus implants. What's the difference? Well, a denture usually refers to a removable appliance or removable prosthetic that comes in your mouth and comes in and out. Okay. Right. Uh, the you know, chewing capacity is nowhere near what the dental implants can give you. They're fixed teeth that feel like your own teeth and they look like your own teeth. With the dentures, traditionally you have to wear the denture adhesive. Things can slip out of the mouth and it's just not... For quality of life, that is not no longer considered the standard for good quali right. quality of life. Basically. Unbelievable. Yeah. Dr. Brandon, what a pleasure, buddy. Oh, yeah, sure. Congratulations on what you're doing over Thank there. You so I, mean, much. I think you're really changing lives and certainly changing them for the better. I'm really impressed yes. with what you're doing. By the way, if, if you have mouth issues, there's no reason to not get a second opinion. Your dentist might be telling you one thing, probably a great person, but there's nothing wrong with checking out a second opinion. A free consultation over at, at D5. Dr. Miranda will take very, very good care of you. I can guarantee you that. Yeah, yeah. Dr. Miranda, what a pleasure. Thank you so much, buddy. Thank you. Thank I you mean, this guy is something else, is he not? <laughs> Here's what we're gonna do. Uh, one last quick break. When we come back, we will wrap up the show. We'll see you in just one moment. Quite a show today. Very special thanks to Highland Lakes Dental and D5. You guys were awesome. Please go check them out, by the way. Michaela, that was fantastic. Are you ready to lay off the sweet tarts now, or now you feel like you have connections and you can eat all the sweet tarts? I mean, you want? I feel like I have connections. <laughs> I feel like I don't have to give up candy. So you're going to stay on the candy? Always. The candy diet? That's Always. The one. I mean, that's just what I do. Yeah, it was an awesome show. Now, next week is pretty special as well. It date is. night. Tell me about that. What does that mean, uh, date night? I'm excited. I mean, there's so many different dates here in Central Florida to just, you know, go with your significant other or even your best friend. Like, why not, yeah. right? Best friend dates are great. Great job today, everybody. And uh, to our CBS crew here at WKMG, you guys are awesome. You're like family to me. Even Joe. I love Joe, too. You? <laughs> Joe, you're Joe's phenomenal. Joe's fantastic today. Uh, to our entire crew here, thank you guys so much. Great show. Thank you for putting it together. Most importantly, thank you for joining us here every single Sunday. Can I ask you one favor? Can you hit record series now? And we'll see you back here next week for Best of Central Florida.